another service of security in cloud shield it gives you protection against the dos attacks dos means what denial of service attack now how does it operates this kind of attack how does it operates you have got these application servers okay and you have got multiple mobile users from where your maybe via the api gateway or from wherever the users are coming to your servers now in case of a dos attack what will happen the malicious users will enact as the genuine user and they will initiate the session to these application or web servers and there will be so much requests which will be coming from these malicious users that the original genuine users the server is overwhelmed with the requests which are coming from these malicious clients and the server is busy processing them and thus he denies the servers denies the services to be given to the original user such kind of attack is known as dos attack denial of service attack which can be easily mitigated by blocking the ip from which the attack is being generated but then over the period of time the hackers become smarter and what they have done rather than generating the attack from a single ip what they did what they did they compromised multiple machines across the globe so this is your setup maybe the amazon.com or dot in the commercial e-commerce website okay now there are gen1 users who are using this amazon.com from their mobile but there will be a mail which will come to your inbox answer five simple questions and enter into a lucky draw to win an iphone when you click on that link you will be asked five silly questions and when you click on submit every time when you answer a question obviously right questions will be there when you submit it will give you a message congratulations you have been entered into the lucky draw on so and so date you will get the result and you will never get a result in your favor you will never get an iphone why because when you were actually entering into the lucky draw of iphone nothing has happened onto your system only one small agent got installed in the background which will initiate the traffic from your device to this server so it is a kind of distributed denial of service attack so now lacks of devices has been compromised and the user who is the owner of that device doesn't even knows that the requests are being generated from their devices and it is coming to the server now it looks like genuine requests but they are being generated from multiple sources by the small agent which is installed by the hacker on these compromised devices now to identify such kind of distributed denial of attack kind of dos you need a specialized service we call it as it as aws shield in amazon so this is your shield okay now shield can be deployed in two variants standard or advanced the standard will give you protection against the common network and transport layer attacks that means layer 3 and layer 4 attacks of dos i have explained you about the seven layers na in the last slide so layer 3 was network and layer 4 was transport so these are the uh, these are the two layers and the common attacks which are performed using these layers can be protected by aws shield standard which is free of cost and can be enabled but if you want the protection till layer 7 and you want a real time visibility into your attack and you want a dos response team working for you 24 by 7 which can be engaged when attack occurs 
so that you can mitigate the attack on your application as soon as possible so if you want and application layer dos attack to be protected and you want a 24 by 7 drt team working with you then you will be needing an aws advanced shield to be enabled which is a paid service this can be enabled on elb cloud front route 53 or on ec2 instances by default the standard cannot be enabled directly on ec2 it can be only enabled on elb cloud front or route 53 only the shield advance can be enabled on the ec2 instance without any elb or cloud front or route 53 in between so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning